Welcome to this new video and what I want to show you right now is Haiku OS Beta Free. So let's get started. What we can see here is something unusual when I present your new operating system or a new version of distribution of Linux, I usually show you the desktop first, but here what I want to show you is the installation process of Haiku because its third beta arrived after a few years after beta 2, we have now beta 3 and this is the installer. They changed the installer and polished it up a lot. You can see this already on the first glance here where we can choose our language and our key map in one combination so we don't have to press forward and forward again and what we can do here is uh, choose english but i don't have a us international uh, keyboard but a german keyboard so i will choose a german keyboard here and can still have the english language and the cool thing is with this language settings i not only have the option to install Haiku here, but also to try out Haiku with those language settings, which is also pretty cool. I want to install it here and click on install. I have to read then here through this and agree that's a beta. I can install from this media. I can choose the target. I have already an eight gigabyte uh, target here. If I don't have the target, I can set up partitions and they also optimized the drive setup application, which allows you to uh, configure your system a little bit better. You can see here that we have our QAMU DVD ROM because I'm using a virtual machine here to be able to record this. And we have our B file system called uh, Haiku and we have the possibility to just simply format it, mount it, uh, open it with disk probe to see even more if you want to repair something, which is pretty nice. And we can, of course, create a new one here if we want to. So this has been improved as well. Then under show optional package packages, we have various different packages that we can choose here. So this is also in contrast, I think, to beta 2, where this was still not possible, which things we want to install. So I click, I want to install everything. I want to install everything here, click begin. And it says, I already have a Haiku installation here. Yes, I have beta 2 installed there. What I want to do is just simply overwrite beta 2. I uh, can, of course, cancel out here, say set up partitions and say just simply because you can see here how much Haiku uh, space is uh, taken already. What I can do is say unmount. And what I want to do is like format it with the B5 system. Click continue name it um, Haiku Beta 3, click Format, write changes to disk and successfully format it and now I have a new partition here and uh, yeah why why I'm showing you the installation process. This is one thing because they changed the menu, they have new options here as well and because of the speed just simply look how fast it is to install those uh, 700 something megabytes uh, to disk and you can see like yeah i didn't even finish talking and it's so installed already can you imagine such a quick install that you can do it in five minutes so let's restart and take a look at the operating system and this is haiku booted up and as you can see here we still have the wrong resolution it is generating SSH keys. Okay, great. What we want to do is go into our settings. And if you never used Haiku before, it's like basically a recreation of BOS with newer options, newer modernized uh, system options. And we want to go to full HD here. And uh, uh, now we have full HD. And yeah, this is Haiku Beta 3. We still have those icons here. Let me make those icons a little bit bigger so you can see them trash. A user guide that if you open it up will probably start in the browser. Yes, it's starting in the browser. Uh, we have uh, the quick tour, which gives you a quick tour through all the systems, especially if you never used Haiku before. The quick tour is very, very helpful 
to get you started with Haiku or BOS and we have our home folder here and our uh, root file system here and what we want to do is because I did so many Haiku videos in the past you can take a look at them if you want to get the basic clue about Haiku but here you can see that this is a beta free version of Haiku you can see also the revision number if you want to compare it with newer revisions that are available this is as far as I'm aware I think the 64-bit version is it written somewhere here I have three gigabytes assigned to this virtual machine. We have some applications here, the usual Haiku or BOS like applications as you, that you can see here. I want to talk a little bit about the browser because they updated the browser a lot, uh, modernized the browser to make it more capable. And you can see this here, it's still an alpha version, version 1.2, but all those people here were working on this version and updated WebKit to 612.121 in terms of versions so that means like things like uh, youtube.com should work a lot better on this new haiku version and the included web browser so you should be able to see it's just loading a bit slower but could be like also because of my resources here hooked up there's some processes running here as you can see and uh, yeah we have um, Let's open up a YouTube video from me so we don't see. And by the way, why not searching for Haiku? I have several Haiku videos, as you can see, even a playlist of Haiku where you can find various different tips. Let's actually go into the Haiku playlist here and we can see several videos here. We have the option to play those videos back. And as you can see, here, I have various options to where I I uh, didn't use screen recording where I used Haiku on real hardware and showed you how you can uh, get things started. It was like beta 2 version as you can see here and from this on I was uh, showing some uh, videos on how to deal with things, how to uh, use certain applications and you can see YouTube is playing fine. The only thing that's not working is the full screen mode so I can go into theater mode but full screen is still not supported which is I think a little bummer. I think they should add this as a supported option as well. What do we have here? We have some documentation, we have the Haiku project itself, the bug tracker if you want to record uh, report some bugs and we have some software, Haiku archives, Haiku ports and list of software sites and if you don't know anything about Haiku or just want to try it out and want to see what software is in here we can go to our application and we can go to the software updater which is nice which allows you to update haiku so we'll see if we have some updates yeah as you can see here i just freshly installed the system and we have already some updates just like also the beta version of haiku itself got an update as well as the user guide and some other applications uh, like web positive as well so let's click on update now and we we'll see how fast the update process is you can see it's like downloading the packages in the background and it usually is pretty fast and clean so let's minimize this and let's take a look at the software center that Haiku has called Haiku Depot and uh, would you send anonymous usage data to the Haiku Depot server system from this computer you can change it into preferences no I don't want to because it's a virtual machine what it will get right now is fetching synchronizing the software sources that are available you can see this runs in parallel to the software updater so i don't have any issues with this because it's not a linux based system so they designed the whole system from the ground up to be user friendly and yeah we have now a software list here in haiku depot where we can see various different applications uh, in all categories like for example email client called beam we have an email client also built in which is just called email. If you go to preferences, you have the option to set up your email here and add accounts and it will work. Let's click on um, add and we have IMAP and POP3 that we can add here. And I could simply add, for example, my, my uh, Google Mail account if I want to. My login name is the same. My password probably you will not know or figure out and uh, real name i can also give my real name here mm, click on next and now i have incoming and outgoing 
uh, set up correctly I hope and what I can do now is uh, hit apply so this will apply everything I have some other settings like check every five minutes or something like this but what will happen now is you will see that there's a new icon popping up here an email icon and if I click on this I get a new query for new emails so the email system is integrated into the database like file system of Haiku so I can get new emails here very quickly I can open up the inbox folder which is currently empty for some reason it's not syncing up but uh, probably check for mail now maybe it will work then this is how you deal with email on the Haiku system is integrated into the file system but if you don't like this you can also use a traditional email application just like Beam for example ah you can see mail status now over a thousand new emails that are downloading right now via IMAP uh, you can use a traditional one which is like uh, reminds me a bit of Thunderbird I would say in its earlier version called Beam that you can use here I like to use the, the inbuilt uh, email system because it is way easier to find things <laughs> because it has a database like file system and the emails behave like files and also the attachments behave like files so you can just drag and drop them wherever you want to go if you're a bit creative you can try out Picasso or Bicasso in this case they are uh, extractors there's BP, B bpdf there's bshare i think it's still going on which is like yeah you know napster and those uh, kind of sharing system it's a combination of irc and file sharing system which still works to get like uh, very abandoned uh, products from bus still for example or some old videos talking about haiku as well uh, uh reboot is uh, necessary to complete the update process uh, this is what I got from the updater, software updater, so it updated the system, I can reboot it now and the background is still emails uh, coming up from I think the last 10 years or so so it will take a while. Uh, let's take a look at the software we have an ebook uh, management system called Calibre or Calibre uh, which is I think known also in the Linux world we have the Calibre suite which is an office suite uh, which is uh, known also from the uh, free and open source world and the Linux side especially. We have a nice little video tool, video editing tool called uh, Clockwork which is a pretty basic editing tool but works pretty fine as well. I cut some video that you see on my YouTube channels with this uh, because it's very fast and cool working and looking. And we have many many other applications here. Fuse SMB which allows you to uh, sh uh, to connect to SMB networks uh, pretty easily as you can see here and uh, yeah download stuff from SMB networks uh, which is also I think pretty handy. We have uh, last time I didn't see that which is I think new. We have Ghostwriter which is a cross-platform aesthetic distraction free markdown editor it's also cool to have this and in general I think uh, wow uh, this this is whole uh, Haiku OS system has put so much effort into yeah, getting productive. GIMP is available here as you can see, LibreOffice is available here as you can see also hopefully in a new version, a relatively new version 6.2. So there are lots and lots of ports available for this uh, platform. It is not as powerful and not, there's not as much applications as on Linux but it's so easy to start and get uh, things going especially for older hardware where you get a 32-bit version or if you have an old 64-bit computer still you can run Haiku without big issues and there are many browsers available games available and uh, streaming radio apparently available and other applications available telegram is even available uh, this is unbelievable so many applications being available on Haiku right now and yeah if you especially if you have an older netbook something s sitting around still want to use this for occasional uh, browsing or something like this and uh, even Linux versions at one point are abandoning those art old hardwares or newer drivers come in that it uh, break things for older hardware you don't have this problem here with Haiku which is pretty nice and awesome there's even Android file transfer possibility which is wow so Haiku developed so much into a very good and usable free operating system that don't be distracted by the beta tag it's just called beta for I don't know which reason it's very very stable usually 
granted the web browser still needs a bit of work but everything else is there podcasting client screen capturing software clementine's music player is there uh, you have basically everything that you need uh, here let's see if we have uh, new emails oh it's still loading some emails in my inbox here you can see how this looks like and it's uh, yeah getting some some emails still in my inbox but you can see that this is working fine and it's really really a nice uh, operating system that i can recommend uh, as an old time bos fan which has so many cool features and more and more tools coming for this platform of course granted also um, just simply ports of uh, linux applications but it just makes it's so fun to use this operating system even so it's not for uh, yeah those 3d gamers because they're not much in terms of 3d things here but it is so cool to use this system to see the progress of the system so what we want to do now is i show you the quick reboot of the system which is also one of the features of haiku is the quick startup time so it will reboot now hopefully and uh, don't mind this this is like uh, the kvm issue and yeah there's a rebooted with the new operating system and you can see that uh, the revision is up a notch so we have a better version here of haiku so yeah really really cool operating system that i can recommend trying out and this is my first look uh, of or on haiku beta 3 if you want to know more about haiku you can use if you downloaded haiku you can use the inbuilt web positive uh, web browser and instead of youtube you go to the haiku minus os.org website and uh, if it would load this one here you can see that there is uh, a lot of stuff to learn here on the beta 3 for example there's media release on haiku beta 3 and you can read about the improvements of this new beta version like for example stuff that i cannot show you right now better wi-fi support coming from freebsd 13 wi-fi drivers better audio drivers mass and usb uh, mass storage and usb and better performance on nvidia graphics card especially the older geforce 6200 and go 6400 cards uh, better and improved stability of the web positive uh, browser and compatibility especially software updates can now be resumed in case of network issues is also interesting and new ports and applications python 3 now the default as uh, python uh, for for python applications and greater POSIX comp compatibility and so on so you can see yes haiku is uh, growing and two thumbs up for this um, still the good old haiku system that, I, that we love and uh, like so much uh, with uh, tabbing support I forgot how this is working uh, I think it was showing up just a second ago uh, this is now I think only resizing yes this is resizing and uh, I don't know anymore how, how this <laughs> works. There were key combinations where you can just put them in a tab inside of uh, this system. I think it was the meta key. Yes, and now we have tab support. So you have now tabbed applications, the web browser and the file manager. And what you can do is simply, if you want to uh, save this haiku, um, Haiku graphics, what you could do, I think it's also drag and drop, if I'm not mistaken. It's not working for some reason. Because it's a link probably. But usually you have like drag and drop, uh, open image in your window. You have drag and drop capabilities for images and can drag and drop them somewhere. Maybe because it's, this, it's an SVG image, I don't know. But you could like use the system or even on smaller screens without big issues. And yeah, I'm so happy about this new version of Haiku. Uh, what can I say? Uh, I really, really like it. And 
If you want to know more, just take a look at the videos that I did already about Haiku. And this is now everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments section. Otherwise, like, subscribe and uh, ask more questions. Uh, then I could show you more about the Haiku system. This is Haiku Beta 3 and I really like it on first look. It is really a great improvement, especially the addition of new applications and the better stabilization and hardware support. That's everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.